On the creepy crypto caper we told you about a month ago where an exchange exec died and took passwords with them to the grave, leaving customers out of $190 million. Well, today, the story gets even more strange. Earlier this year, we told you about that creepy crypto caper, and it stumped many of us. It defounded us. I mean, how could this just happen, and all of a sudden, the money was gone? And you re may recall that story. It was called Quadriga CX, and the guy's name, the executive, the CX CEO, was Gerald Cotton. He died and took these passwords with him. Well, the question is whether or not he really died. That was the first question. Uh, but to dig into this deeper, we go to Christy I of Counterpart X, who will tell us about those 115,000 users who lost money, including about 92 million in Bitcoin, along with other cryptos like Litecoin and Ether. Without those passwords, who knows if they'll get it back. Christy, thank you so much for being with us. We're glad to have, have you. Uh, what's going on with this thing? Did I lay it out correctly? Absolutely, Bart. That was perfect. Court appointed Ernest and Young in order to investigate this further, and they have been very diligent with their findings. They recently published a report on fi Friday detailing the fact that they have found the cold storage wallets that Quadriga allegedly used. However, upon looking at the wallets, they found that the six cold storage wallets were actually empty. They've also identified 14 other off offline exchanges that Quadrigo was actually transferring money to. These other exchanges, the names have not been submitted. However, they found that Quadrigo had thousands of accounts on these other 14 exchanges. Now, this is very unlike protocol and it's atypical. So this was not company policy to have other exchanges in business. Uh, so, Christy, so the first thing was... And I've mentioned this story before. I think it's very important that if you're a crypto investor, do not have all your assets on one exchange. Don't put it on one wallet, especially if you have more than five or $10,000 worth of crypto assets. I highly recommend that you diversify. Maybe have half on one exchange, half on another one. Um, the ones that I recommend, uh, you can click on the links. Uh, I highly recommend Bittrex, uh, Coinbase, uh, Gemini. And so, so Kraken, there's been issues with Kraken in the past, but these are all different exchanges that instead of having $5,000 on one exchange, you can put 1,000 maybe on one, 2,000 on another one. And by, what, by diversifying this, if there is a potential hack or something shady like this, uh, your entire crypto portfolio is not wiped out. Um, and this is with all investments. Uh, I, I even, um, when it comes to banking, uh, even though there's FDIC insurance, I don't put all my money in one account. I definitely like to have it diversified and have it in other areas. But let me know your thoughts on this, and I will talk to you soon.